everyone, welcome to the very last video in this series from Wood World of Flowers by Johanna Basford and uh, we have just this little tiny bit of our flower ribbon left to go. Um, I'm having a little think about what colour to uh, do this one here. I'm thinking maybe we'll go for a, um, a violet but I'm actually going to start with this colour this is 633 and this is the slate blue and I'm going to use it for this centre and these dots. Um, sorry, Stedler pencils by the way, um, just in case you've managed to somehow stumble across this series on the last episode. Um, there are five episodes for this particular page but it is a double page and there are also five episodes for the first page so if you're just joining us then welcome. And, uh, and you can catch those if you wish later. This is number six, Violet. Now what I'm going to do here is make it a little darker here near the centre but try and quickly fade it so that that um, one we've done in the slate blue um, shows up like that. There we go. Now, I hope that you have been enjoying this series. Thank you so much if you've joined me for every episode. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have enjoyed it, please um, like. Please drop a little comment as well. I know it's not always easy to know what do I say. Or just drop a little heart, a thumbs up, a thank you. Or just let me know if you've enjoyed it or if you want something similar. Um, if there's anything else on this book you'd like me to do. You know, something like that is lovely. And it also helps um, the more interaction that happens with the video, the more likely it is that um, YouTube will show it to uh, other people, sort of recommend it to other people. I'm just um, going over those central bits a little bit more. And um, yeah, my son's got a very interesting video. He's got a video that is 33 seconds long and um, I'm just choosing my next colour, sorry. Um, I think we'll go with this one. This is the 551 green for the um, petals here and it is called light green and I'm uh, sorry leaves. I'm going to do them the same way I did the petals, so a bit darker here, lighter towards the tip. Yes, so he's got a 30 second video, 33 second video, and most people watch about 30 seconds of it, so that's a very long retention statistic for YouTube. They like it when people watch a lot of a video or all of a video. And um, he has about 900 viewers a day, and it's just a little video that he made of a speed run that he was trying. I'm gonna... Sorry, I had to stop the video because I sneezed. I was, I was about to say I'm going to sneeze and I sneeze so I had to stop it before I come and <laughs> cut myself off. Um, anyway, so it's a little speed run he's done in a computer game that he was playing and uh, because uh, people have watched it all the way through or almost all the way through, um, YouTube keeps recommending it to people and he's getting so many views. He's had like 25,000 views. He's like, but it's not even a good video, you know, like, don't complain. <laughs> And he's only got a little channel, this is 550 for just putting things on, this is pale green. I'm going to do this bit though. Um, from speed runs and things like that, just so that he can show people, because he gets world records sometimes on computer games. So there's nothing um, really, I could do these little leaves too, of massive interest to that many people, but he just gets all these views. And his brother's quite jealous, because he doesn't get all those views on his channel, but... You know, he understands why. He's not um, being funny about it or anything. I rather like this pink colour here. It's number 23. And it is called Bordeaux. We're going to use that for these little flowers. It might look a bit similar to these, but it is more of a pink than a red. I think it will, um, if they do look similar, I don't think it matters because they're the same type of flower. So, uh, yeah, as I say, I don't think it matters. Um, his brother isn't, um, sorry, that, um, well, he's a bit jealous, but, you know, not in, a, not in a nasty way. It's just a bit unfair, I guess, that his brother gets all this, uh, all this coverage and attention. 
And his brother's like, but I don't even care. <laughs> now we haven't got, um, we've only got one set of yellow flowers. Oh, excuse me. I am going to grab the, um, not that one. Oops, this one, because we haven't used it yet. Number one. I'm going to do the centre yellow, not the whole flower. I think it might look a bit too samey of these if we do too much yellow. But I'm just going to block that in because it's yellow. It's also hard to see. And then I've got to decide what colour I'm actually doing the flower itself once I've got this yellow down. Um, oh, we've got some peach. We've got some pink and red. We have got much blue. Let's pick a blue. Now we could go for, we've got a mid blue and a dark blue. We could go for a nice pale blue. What's this one? 302. I'm just going to sharpen it. I'm going to put my sharpener away. Um, yeah, I had to clear my desk all back and then get it all back up again just for this last video. This is 302, which is pastel blue. Because um, I was Skyping my um, parents and sister and um, I'd done four of the videos in a row after lunch, which was great fun. And uh, then I had to Skype and I came in my office to do it, the office, not my office, because um, my husband was helping my son with some um, programming. They were very loud. And uh, the way the Skype works is that the person who's talking will cut off the person you know, you cut each other off if there's background noise. And it was actually lucky that I was in here because it was such a terrible line. Everyone kept cutting everyone off and going all, um, um, what's the word where you, you broken up, breaking up, you know, so you could only hear the old word. And it was just absolutely rubbish, very frustrating. Um, my dad reckoned it was his phone, his internet wasn't very good today but I um, don't know I think it was just because too many people were all trying to talk at once so anyway it uh, was, wasn't particularly good but uh, in mind there we go now I was tempted to do these blue but I can't now so I have to think of something else but I'm going to do these little green leaves down here and I'm going to use the number five, the uh, green. And think about what to do for those. I think we're sort of lacking an orange. We haven't done loads of orange. We've done this sort of peachy colour, but not proper orange. That might help. Um, that might sort of help to balance it. That's what I'm thinking. My brain was thinking about something else. My brain was thinking about the fact that I bought some earplugs in the help. That I hope that I'll be able to sleep better tonight. It gets so noisy in the bedroom. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, orange. What have we used? Let me have a quick look. The Indian red is actually quite orangey. I might use that just for something a little bit different. That's number 722, here it is. We just heard a steam train go past, which was rather fun. I didn't rush to the window. It's a little bit too late in the year now to see them. That sounds very odd, doesn't it? A bit mysterious. Um, because um, in the winter, when there's no leaves on the trees, you can see across to the railway line much more easily. This looks quite brown, doesn't it? But I think it will be fine. Um, and uh, so the leaves are starting to come on the trees, um, so it's harder to see the trains. But, uh, it was a lovely whistle as it went through. It was fabulous, I love it. And uh, uh, my son disappeared out of the room for a moment, he went to the bathroom. And he came back, I said, oh, did you just go and get on the steam train? He was like, no, nah, I missed it. You're being a bit silly. <laughs> I have ridden on, ridden on a steam train a few times. It is great fun. I love it. Um, you can have those old-fashioned carriages that you see in um, Harry Potter. If you've watched Harry Potter films or in old like Murder on the Orient Express type films where you've got um, seats facing each other. It's really lovely. And uh, it just feels luxurious. And 
Um, I'm going to do a slightly different colour centre for this one. I'm going to use the number 16 just for a bit of a change. Yeah, the and they're sort of plush high seats fabric covered. You do get that on a normal regular train, but it, they're just a bit more old fashioned. You get the old fashioned luggage racks, and oh, it's just it's just such fun. Maybe other people wouldn't find it fun, but I just really did. This is fifty seven, and that is we've used it before. Who can remember the olive green? They're all shout up ones. But um, it was it is fun. I think maybe we'll do it this summer again. The um, railway near us um, it doesn't it doesn't start here. Drop um, normal um, the one that goes through here we don't tend to catch. It's a different line that we go on um, near where my parents live. And they like to come along, so that's really good fun. Um, I'm going to use a different brown, a green. That I don't think I've used. It's a brownie green. That's why I said brown. It's actually called dark ochre. And it is quite brown. I should may have used it on there. I never mind. Not 19. Um, and it goes from their town and stops in a place called Toddington, which is a very famous um, place for its um, steam trains. In fact, that's all there is there. Basically, there's a museum um, about steam trains and it's got sort of accessories from trains and a, a train carriage and all sorts of accessories like you know different dining sets and badges and I don't know things <laughs> so that's really fun to go on uh, but they've extended the line on to a different place so it's tempting to do that this summer I don't know maybe maybe not we'll see anyway we have now finished our picture that last bit didn't take very long did it but I should um just Bring the book out a little so you can see the whole thing. I'll have to come out on camera. They look a bit different today compared to the earlier recordings because um, I've been able to open the blind because the sun has moved around a bit. There we go. There's the finishing. Let's take this piece of paper out from behind. There we go. So uh, that is it. But um, thank you for colouring along with me if you have or watching. Um, I very much appreciate it and as I said before it's important to sort of interact with the channel a little bit it helps with um, new finding new viewers which is always lovely so that more people um, can find out about colouring and hopefully take part and enjoy themselves um, yes yeah, so thank you um, I hope that you have a really super day and happy colouring